Hey there, Heather Legg here. And I've been getting some questions about how to set goals the right way, or maybe why even why even set goals? Why have written goals at all? So it's January. <laughs> it's that time. It's one of my favorite things about the new year is setting goals. Why? Because I love achieving things. So I have a lot of thoughts on this subject and I'm going to keep it try to keep it relatively short. Maybe I'll do a, a series of things on these. So we'll keep them short. I want to just give a couple of quick tips today. Why set goals at all? Well, I think everyone has heard that there have been studies done, um, experiments that show that when you write your goals down and you look at them frequently, you're far more likely to achieve them. So even if you write your goals down and you don't look at them frequently, you're far more likely to achieve them. Why? Because it plays, it's like, it's like plugging a plan into the, like putting a blueprint into your mind, right? So if you don't articulate something, if you don't, if you haven't reflected enough on what you want to achieve in your life, work, personal, whatever, that you're not able to articulate it enough, it's not specific enough to write something down then you're far more likely to be distracted by all the things flying at you on a day-to-day -day basis, right? I mean, that we live in a world where distraction is kind of the normal. We, we could be so distracted all the time, all day long with these big devices and yeah, people are addicted. <laughs> Do you think they're getting much done? Uh, no, not unless they have a structure supporting their achieving. So we can be distracted, we can have chaos, in between the, the the planned achievement stuff that we're doing. Yeah, that was that was not articulated well. But so think about what you want to achieve in in your life, right? Some basic life goals. You want to be happy, you want to be healthy, you want to be wealthy, or at least have some financial security, right? So yeah, okay, then back back that up a little bit. Let's break it down. What's it going to take for you to just move the needle a little bit? So I was doing a leadership training earlier this week, and we talked about not getting overwhelmed with all the things that you want to do, but picking one or two or three things to focus on at any given time. Overwhelm is a recipe for failure or confusion. Uh, so it'll take longer if nothing else and you might just fail completely so we don't want to get overwhelmed we don't want to be demoralized by goals that feel so unrealistic right so example i've used many times over the years is if i say i want to live on the moon i don't but whatever that's a goal i mean earlier in my lifetime that didn't even feel like a realistic goal but probably now by the time uh, my natural life is finished i could maybe live on the moon if i really really wanted to but if I said I want to live on the moon by the end of next year, I probably not. <laughs> like I'm not an astronaut. I don't have any, I don't have any path. So, you know, using that smart framework, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, aka meaningful to you and time bound or with a time. You can always change the time if it's the right goal for you. So I'm getting off track a little bit here. So anyway, in this leadership training that I did earlier this week, we talked about how successful of a leader are you today on a scale of one to 10, one being not good, really low score to 10 being realistically awesome. Realistically awesome is a 10. Where do you put yourself now versus where do you want to be as a leader? So let's apply that to goal setting. So any kind of goal, anything that you really want to see happen in the coming year or even in the coming month or even in the coming week, where are you at with that now? What's your current state versus where you'd like to be? So let's take that into, um, we can take it into leadership, right? If you want to be, seen as a better leader by the end of the year. So let's say you rate yourself a six and you want to be at least an eight by the end of the year based on how your team sees you. Okay, what's it going to take to get there? What are realistic things that you can do to get better, to show up better, to be the person that you want to be? And you start doing that now, not someday, 
off into never, never land. <laughs> so you can, with that rating scale, the one to 10 is a really good scale, or even one to five works, but one to 10 is really good because what I'm going to ask you then is let's say you've, you've uh, identified a gap. You're a six now and you want to be eight or nine or 10. What would it take for you to move one notch higher? What are some ideas? You're going to brainstorm some ideas. What would it take to move one notch higher? If you say, I want to go from a, being a sucky leader to being an amazing leader, you know, in a year, is that realistic? I mean, maybe if that's your only focus. Or you're really, really dedicated. Yeah, maybe. But what would it take to move that needle one notch higher? And then maybe next year, one notch higher. Or go by quarter. Break it down into things you can realistically do each quarter of the coming year. Those kind of goals will fuel your motivation, will have you feeling more excited because they're attainable. They're relevant to you. So don't set goals that somebody else wants you to set. Those are shoulds. We want to avoid the shoulds. You want to set goals that are meaningful to you. You want to break them down into actionable components. And then, of course, there's that hold yourself accountable. And my specific suggestion, you can see there are some other videos out here on this, is that you look at your goals every single week as you're planning out your week. So there you go. In a nutshell, how do we set goals? Why should we set goals? How do we set some goals? And how do we ensure that they're motivating and not demotivating. We're taking action so we can actually achieve things that matter in life, that matter to you in your life. So I hope that you're feeling inspired and you have something actionable you can do right now to help yourself achieve more of the things that matter to you. I'll see you here again soon.